What's up, everyone? This is El Destroyer229, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5. Last time, we continue to try to get any sort of dirt on Madarame. Yusuke was not exactly being forthcoming and was very much trying to defend Madarame. However, we did manage to get a little bit more information from one of Madarame's former pupils. The man that we stole a heart of before, Nakanohara. From him we managed to confirm what we suspected within Madarame's palace. In addition, we learned how Yusuke actually feels. In this episode, we need to steal Madarame's heart before the exhibit ends. Otherwise, Yusuke will try to call the authorities on us for, well, interrupting his work. And the only way out of it is for On to pose nude for him for one of his paintings. Which we're not gonna let do because On is our friend and she doesn't want to do it for very obvious reasons. In this episode, we continue our preparations. We've done most of our prep work, but since it is evening, we can't exactly head on into the metaverse. So what are we doing this evening? Well, we are specifically here in Shibuya Station because we, well, we managed to talk to this politician the last time that we worked at the beef bowl shop. So let's maybe uh, have another chat with him. Please, consider what I have to say. Alright, we've already seen this. You. Okay, well, I mean, this is all stuff that we've seen before, but yes, I am interested. Hmm? Here we go, here's where it's new. If you'd like. Oh, yeah, sure, I'd love to help. Glad to. Okay, yeah, sure. My name is Ren Amamiya. Nice to meet you, Yoshida san. However,
Thank you. That didn't sound like it went over so well. I mean, it was good, but... Well, the heckling... speech. not it's important that you make your position known that way they're more informed when they cast a vote I don't care what those people say you have my support thank you about to say hmm well he seems earnest enough it's just a lot of people are giving him a rough time for one reason or another still his speeches are really good well then I shall see you again soon Take care, Yoshida-san. So yes, that was another flag that we needed to do. You might be wondering, how many damn flags does it take to actually start the confidant? Ah, uh, quite a few. <laughs> Why do you care so much? What do you mean? Very well. Fortunately for him, we know how he really feels. All right, well, school's happened, and so what does that mean we're doing today? Well, today, actually, I'm not sure if I've actually bought sodas yet. <laughs> I feel like I have. I have not! So I'm gonna go around and buy sodas, and then we'll go around and do what we're supposed to be doing today. So, off to Shibuya! For more than one reason, because school was the only place that we didn't actually get sodas at. <laughs> so we actually don't need to go to the other places. Hmm. In any case, what we're doing today is heading on over to the hideout. So we don't actually get to immediately head to where we're going. We need to head to the access way from here.
Everyone's here. All right, so what we're doing today is heading on into Madarame's palace. First, we'll have a meeting. All right, so basically, we need to infiltrate the palace, and we're slightly underleveled for this point. Then again, like, other people have likely gone into Mementos a couple of extra times, so that might be a reason why the game thinks we're underleveled, but we're actually doing pretty all right. So let's not waste any more time. We head to the palace. Okay, let's go. got a point. We already know what we need to do. Now it's just a matter of doing it. Now, I'm first gonna head on into the Velvet Room because I'm pretty sure I can register some personas. Do you need something? Plus, it also gives me a chance to see what I can fuse with what I've got. Somewhat. this assignment now Inmate. Farewell. So this is something that, well, if you played Persona 4 before, you know exactly where this leads. How goes the Although I'm not sure I can even like make a you Jack want to Frost. Are you sure? uh, I'm gonna go ahead and register my Personas. I can see if I can Time make Jack Frost though. I can, actually. 
Uh, ooh, Silky and Barret to get Jack Frost. Or Silky and Mandrake. There is also Upsaurus, but I kind of want to use Upsaurus. Not terrible, but not uh, okay, so just by fusing a Jack Frost, he will naturally learn Mabufu. Uh, ooh, I could pass down Dia. That would be pretty nice. Uh, what okay if I this? tried Mandrake? Uh, it really doesn't matter. I suppose I could get rid of Mandrake since Barreth is a bit more expensive to buy back. So, sure, we can go with this. We'll fuse away Silky and Mandrake to fuse Jack Frost. Select the skills you'd like to inhibit. It will receive So, a minor of power. boost of power thanks to the Magician Arcana. But we can go ahead and finish off this request now. Girls, let us begin. So that was simple enough. And okay. we get Mabufu, which is probably the most like advanced spell we have right now. We don't, I don't think we have any persona that has a multi-target attack, so that's actually gonna be pretty helpful. Uh, let's see, there's Public Tengu, there's Kodama. Um, I'm not, not sure if there's really anything else that we impressive. should get. Kodama actually wouldn't be bad, especially, well, PSI would be nice, but unfortunately we haven't established the star arcana. Not terrible, but not Hope impressive. But Tengu also wouldn't necessarily be bad, but that gets rid of two good personas. So I think we're good for the time being. We've got a little bit of space. You your Done already. And in order to actually do this, we need to exit out of that and then talk to the wardens. You brought the specified persona. Huh. Fine, I'll take it. By the way, your personas are super weak. Not that I'm surprised, inmate. Hey. Though I guess you deserve at least some praise for finishing your penal labor. You might actually complete your rehabilitation. In order to promote that process, we would like to offer you the use of a new facility. <laughs> it's rare to see you smile, Justine. You are the smiling one, Caroline. Did something happen to make you so joyful? Me? <gasps> hey! Are you laughing at us? <laughs> Maybe. Know your place, inmate! As wardens, we simply feel satisfaction in seeing your rehabilitation progress. That is the extent of it. Uh-huh. I find it upsetting that you would see such a matter as a source of amusement. It's like you forget where you are, inmate. You've got some real guts, though. With that spirit, you should have no trouble making progress. Very well, then. If you have the will to continue your penal labor, we can grant you greater freedom within this prison. It is a deal between us, the Wardens, and you, the inmate. Not like you have the right to turn it down, though. Hard work is what you're meant to do, inmate. Very well. I accept your offer. Not that I had much of a choice. shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the strength persona, 
I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Thus we've established a new confidant with the twin wardens Caroline and Justine. That of the strength arcana. So Caroline and Justine's confidant works exactly the same as Margaret's in Persona 4. What they will do is that they will ask to see a specific persona, oftentimes with a specific skill. All you have to do is to bring that persona within your persona deck and then talk to the wardens. And that will grant you a rank up. It doesn't take up any time, but you need to fulfill that request. And the reward for doing so is that they will allow you more access to different abilities within the Velvet Room. So for instance, at rank 1 we get access to the group Guillotine which allows us to fuse three personas to create a more powerful one. There isn't any sort of triangle spread. Think of this kind of like the uh, cross spread or pentagon spread within personas three and four, in which you need specific personas in order to create a more powerful one. But it has to be those specific personas. That is essentially what group guillotine is. Only it's for three personas, which would normally be a triangle spread. All right. So yeah, a little less versatility in terms of like normal spreads, but this does get give us access to unique personas that we would not have access to otherwise. Now, it's time for your next task. Farewell. So, in order to reach rank 2, we need to bring Shisa with Frey. Hey. Now, it should be to no one's surprise that we can't actually fuse Shisa. <laughs> Although, I'm not even sure we have the necessary personas. So, here's what the group guillotine looks like. At this point, we only have access to four personas. Flaros, Nekoshogun, Vasuki, and Seth. So, you can already see just what exactly we're going to need to get in order to make these more powerful personas. But we will get access to more as we progress through the game. Uh, in terms of Shisa, yeah, I don't have the necessary personas. Even if I did, Shisa is definitely above my level. However, that other skill that we need to teach it, Frey, that is a very interesting skill. That is the low-level nuclear skill, and we haven't actually seen nuclear skills yet. Done already. So that is going to be very no interesting. Off. All right, now that we're done in the Velvet Room, we can actually go and start infiltrating the palace. I can see it. Uh, I'm not sure if the <sighs> treasures... It doesn't look like the treasures have respawned here, which is a little bit sad, but... Oh, no! They either did and I would just miscalculated, or some of them did. Uh, oh, actually. Aha! They did respawn. Perfect. Okay, so not exactly that big of a deal. We just get in the same way that we got in here before. Swipe this. And then we can just climb in through Morgana's rope. I have some. Okay. So, our goal for this exploration is to just simply get as far as we can. Not exactly too much more to that. 
Ooh, hello. I can feel it. I don't think there's anything else up here. Nope. So yeah, we'll try to get as far as we can, and we'll just go from there. Focus. However, we can see that security has tightened. Whoa! So yes, just as we just saw, you can see these lasers with third eye. However, we can only get through these lasers if there is enough room. So you, we can even see just based on here that some of these are red and some are green. Green means that there are no lasers, whereas red means that there are. So we can just slide under. It. And thankfully, the uh, shadows won't go through the lasers as well. Uh, if we can just get him close enough. Or he can just walk away too, that works. Somewhere. So yeah, we need to be careful so that way we don't accidentally trip those lasers. But we can also Junior just run up and form. fight these guys. And we've got some new enemies. The, the Night Lord. Walking Warrior. Uh, what do I want to use against you? I guess I could try ice. Go down. I forget what exactly these enemies are doing to. It's wind. Perfect. It's almost scary how good I am. Okay, so now we can try negotiations. So these are gloomy. So let's see what we can do. Does that work? All right. My mind. By the way. I don't like any of these options. I mean, that one's obviously not good, but... I downloaded an app. Indeed. I see. Hey, there we go. I am so now we got McCoy. Got a new persona added to our repertoire. Joker. Of course, it would have been nice if I could have killed one of them, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, sweet! Power. That didn't take long. Awesome, we're level 13. Alright. I would like to try to do a history lesson, but I, with how much time I have left, I'm not sure that I will be I able it. to with the current time. Show me your true form. Ooh, three new enemies. The girl of the hanging tree. So, well, I'll save the history lesson for next time. Uh, I know for a fact that these enemies are weak to guns. Pretty sure they're also weak to ice. You're mine. They are indeed. Uh, okay. Uh, let's switch on over to Mona. Go ahead. Not over yet. And just smack that one. Now the reason I do this is so that way I can just take care of all but one. And then Skull can use lunch. Perfect. Uh, Skull, go ahead and beat it up. Panther, shoot it down. Alright, so this one is upbeat, so gotta keep that in mind. Alright, 
you'll be killed. That's a good idea. Yes. Perfect, it worked. So now we get Wampo. Good. Although I don't believe I still have an electric persona. That has been something that has been very lacking. Hey, sweet. Ooh, more skills. Like Maragi! Awesome! Now I have another person who can okay. hit multiple enemies. I can feel it. Okay, so gotta be careful. Somewhere. Just look around the corners. Make sure I don't trip the security. <sighs> and I also need to make sure that I don't get caught by the guards. Get close and then your rip your forward. face off! Hey, I'm sorry. This one's weak to electricity. Uh, electricity, which I do not believe I have. Nope. McCoy is physical. Wapo is fire. Um. Well. I mean, I'm still gonna stick with Opsaris. And I mean, Medea's still a long ways off. What does Jack Frost have? Rakunda. Eh, may as well just stick with Opsaris. Hold on. I just kind of go from here, beat up these upstars as much as I can. Perfect! And then... We can do this. Nothing to worry about. So yeah, in case you didn't already make upstars, you can also convince them to join you. Hey, and there's Mona. Ooh, Lucky Punch. So I already mentioned this, but Lucky Punch doesn't do a lot of damage, but has a very high chance to crit. Very good for knocking down just normal enemies. So we just need to knock down someone and we don't exactly have a good way of doing so with our current party, then we can use that to gain the advantage. I'll reveal your Super true nice. Form. All right. Damn, that McCoy gave me 2600 yen. That is a very nice chunk of change. Um Oh, I guess we already stole that. All right, not much of a big deal. We can just keep heading on over to this it. way. And yeah, this may oh, seem like a bad thing, but we can also jump over the lasers <laughs> if there's enough space to do so. Um, other than that, what I can do is access this. And there we go. With this, we now have a shortcut through here. So now we don't need to just go through those pre preliminary lasers again. Steal that, and then... Oh, there are guards down here now. Ah, uh, there's not exactly a good place to hide. So we'll just go with this. Show me your true form. <sighs> All right, let's shadow move back so that shadow respawns. That easy, and huh? then just wait for him to turn around. That is not turning around, you. Th th that's close enough, I guess. I'll do. Reveal your true form. <laughs> I'm getting quite a lot of money from these fights. Yes. Using the negotiation, I got 2,600 from that McCoy and 2,500 just from this uh, Hua Po that Somewhere. I just defeated. So always, always be on the lookout to ask for money. Though don't abuse it because you will just get diminishing returns if you just go against the same shadows. Don't touch anything that my third eye doesn't say it's safe. Anyway, we can
can actually just examine the sign now. The Infinite Spring. A conglomerate work of art that the great director Madarame created with his own funds. He's injured. Oh, right. I think Panther already. Yeah, Panther already said that when we came here the first time. Never mind. Ooh. Don't hide from me. An amethyst. Yeah, anything that would be slightly hidden is usually a much better feel it. Uh, treasure. But we continue onward. Okay, so there's not a whole lot. That way is barred off, so we can't go that way. Though that will be a nice shortcut. Um, okay. Until then... We just jump over... Eh, a safe room might go over be those... I will go it? ahead and grab this, and then head on into the safe room. A safe room! Oh, thank goodness! Alright, so we've at least got to our first safe room here. Alright, and we're pretty much out of time, so I think what we'll do to end things off is just consult with our party members well, and just see how they react to how we've been doing so far. We've only just started. We're nowhere near the end of this. Okay, let's go. However, the beginning portion of this episode took a lot longer to get through than I first expected. So, we're gonna go ahead and call it a day here. So, next time on Let's Play Persona 5. We continue exploring Madarame's palace. We've got a long way to go before we get anywhere close to finishing this. And we can't even see, like, anywhere else on the map. However, our travels have only just begun. There's still plenty of other tripwires, guards, and whatever is in store for us here. This will not be an easy treasure, but pursue it we shall. So until next time, everyone, take care.